uh, interested and also Shelly ah! <laughs> slippery Shelly <laughs> that sounds so bad <laughs> <clears throat> Hey guys, today I've got something exciting. I know this probably doesn't look too exciting. This is a wall switch, but there is something cool about this particular one. Now, I've talked about uh, wall switches before. This is Son of Mini in here, and I've talked about this particular device in this video there. And also uh, there was another one, which is a Shelly One device. And I also talked about this uh, in a separate video that you can watch in here. The two, those two devices have one thing in common. They are Wi-Fi based, which means you're either limited to uh, the apps, either it's a Shelly app or Ewe Link app, or you have to flash the custom firmware in order to control it the way you want which is often problematic and uh, maybe not a lengthy process, but it's not something you want to go through every time. So this is Zemi Smart Zigbee 2 Gang Smart Switch. And the most exciting part of those Zs in there, uh, it's Zigbee because it makes it compatible with different ecosystems without actually going into the firmware and messing with the hardware. That's brilliant. So by default, this aims at smart things or Tuya. I've reviewed Tuya a Zigbee kit in here. So you would probably have to have a Zigbee hub of some sort, but you don't have to go for Tuya. You can also pick a Zigbee 2 MQTT compatible debugger like uh, the one I use, which is CC2531 right now. So before I'm gonna connect that with Node-RED, I'm just going to take a closer look and tell you more about this device in particular, what to pay attention for and how does it work. In front, there are two buttons to toggle the re relays individually. And at the back, you'll see that the connections for neutral and live wires. The two GANGS controllers and the switch controllers that actually use 3.3 uh, volt logic. So make sure you don't connect the mains in here, otherwise you're gonna destroy the switch. The switch is capable of 300 watts per gang, so you won't be able to handle heavy loads, but for lights, 300 watts, it's more than reasonable. And if you're running more than 300 watts per gang, you probably have different problems. The biggest criticism of the switch are the terminals that should be shrouded a little bit better because when the screw is undone, uh, you are able to touch it and that should never be the case. A piece of electrical tape over it should fix it. However, I've learned that hard way by shocking myself on a live stream. Ow. There is no reason to look inside other than curiosity, but I had a look anyway and I discovered that this is EFR32 based and device, so it uses exactly the same IC as the son of Zigbee Bridge. Changes to the switch, whether made from the wall switch or direct buttons are instantaneous and recorded in an app correctly. That's all good. Linking with a Tuya app is very simple. Just hold the two buttons for 10 seconds, the device will go into pairing mode and after a couple of moments, you're gonna see it in a nearby devices in a Tuya app. Now, once connected, you have an individual control to both gangs. You can rename those if you want to use a smart assistant like Google Home or Amazon Echo. And additional bonus is that you can actually connect individual uh, switches into a light groups. This means you will be able to control different light groups with a wall switch without creating additional scenes or groups. Very nifty feature. Because this uh, device is EFR32 based and more and more devices are cross compatible between uh, Tuya and Ewelink app, I had a suspicion that it might actually work with Son of Zigbee Bridge. If you want to know more about Son of Zigbee Bridge, yep, that's the video for you. And to my surprise, I was able to pair those things without any problems. The device was recognized correctly. However, the controls were finicky. Uh, I was able to send the signals, but uh, after a couple of switches, the device would hang and it would become unresponsive, which means it's not compatible yet. But knowing something special, I know that Sonoff actually is developing their own version of a mini that works with Zigbee. So this is why the device was compatible and this is why the device was recognized correctly. This is something that is already in my mail, so you should see the video about that soon. 
Using this switch in Node-RED wasn't difficult, however I did have to add the device to the list of supported devices. I have a video explaining how it works in here and also there is a live stream of me doing it live if you want to learn how to add new devices to supported libraries, strongly recommend that. But if you just want to add this and start playing then head to the description of this uh, video you'll find the write-up and exact JSON file to paste, it's gonna make your life simpler. Pairing with CC2531 was super simple, there were no problems at all, however the device isn't supported by default, which means I had to go and edit devices GS files and add this uh, device in order to be supported. Then when in Node-RED I've simply used the default topic with the de uh, device name and parse JSON object to receive updates about the information state. As you can see, you can, I've named them to state left and state right, which would respond with uh, messages on change and I've submitted that to payload. I can also query this by submitting empty state payload uh, to a topic ending with slash get. So let's give it a go. There you have it, I have a state updated. Now in order to control it, uh, I've created a couple of nodes that you have to submit. Now to control this, you have to submit the payloads to this particular topic, which is left and set for the left switch and right set uh, for the right switch. And what you have to do is just the payload, uh, which is uh, formatted this way. So let's give it a go. And as you can see, if you want to toggle the second one off or on, you can do so as well and it's exactly the same way of submitting it so you have to remember to make sure both the payload and the topic has been set correctly in order to change different gangs in that switch. As you can see the device works great and the only real issue is with the terminals that should be secured slightly better just in case. Now I'd like to thank as any smartphone sending me these so I could uh, take a look at them if you're interested. In the description of this video you're going to find the link where you can buy these. So uh, go ahead and use that if you like what you see. So for now guys I do not have a posting schedule. However, if you're interested in that son of Zigbee that's coming up soon, then definitely subscribe to my channel, you know how YouTube works, or follow me on social media to get a notification when the next article is out. As for now guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.